Hi, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about the Peak Design Everyday Backpack version 2. Every day we escape Losing all of our faith We can't live this way Feel me slowly fade away In this video, I'm just going to focus on the things that I like about this backpack and the things that I wish it can do differently. Again, it's going to be my personal opinion. So if you have any different thoughts about this backpack, please leave them in the comment section below so I can learn how you use your backpack. Let's get started. The first thing I like about this backpack is how tough it is considering the weight of it. It feels like a tank. Well, it's not made of metal, but the entire backpack feels like a tough box. It stays in its shape very well, even with nothing inside. The outside material, it's waterproof and it feels like it's pretty scratch proof as well, which is amazing if you are going to use it in some harsh environments. Yeah, it feels really durable. The second thing I like is the three handles on uh, the top of the uh, backpack and also both sides of the backpack. I'm not a tall person at all. Every time when I try to hold onto my backpack with the top handle, I'll usually be dragging the straps, like the bottom straps, against the floor, which might not be the most ideal, let's say, if it's raining. The side handles just solve this problem. I can just hold onto it with the side handle. Also, when I'm trying to pull the backpack out of a small space like a locker, I have the side handles to pull it out, which is very handy. It's that a pun? The next thing I like about the Everyday Backpack version 2, it has to be version 2 because it is about how comfortable the shoulder straps are compared to V1. If you have a V1 and have tried wearing a V1 or version 1, you know how rough the straps are. Even when the bag was completely empty, it kind of hurt my shoulder. It will definitely hurt if you try to carry it with gears inside. Version 2 straps are much softer and much more bendable, and this is a huge improvement from version 1. The next thing I like about this backpack is the external straps that it provides. It gives you so much flexibility when it comes to carrying not only gears, but everyday stuff. I can literally strap a tripod here, put it in the pocket, strap it down, and then I can put a light stand on the other side, strap it down, and I can also strap an LED light panel at the back of the backpack and I still have an entirely empty backpack for my camera, mic batteries, and other accessories inside the back. That's literally the entire setup I used for my last interview video that I shoot outside, and I don't think any bags can do that. If you don't like the straps or you don't need them, you can remove them anytime and it's quite easy to put them back. The last thing I like about the everyday backpack, it's the Mac latch. It has four different heights for you to expand the storage of the bag, which is amazing. And it is very easy to close the bag compared to regular zippers. Uh, you can just flip it down, pull it, and it's locked. You can hear the click and it's secured. Talking about zippers, the zippers they use on this backpack seem really, really durable. And it's protected by like an outer layer. For the durability, I have to use it longer to test it out. Some people think that the Mac latch, it's not the most secure or weatherproof design, but to me, the convenience of using it uh, to be able to lock it very easily, it's more important. Again, that's my personal thought. Okay, let's talk about the things I think the back can do better. The first thing is the side pocket inside the backpack. I like the version one because they have a general zipper to secure the stuff inside the pocket. On version two, it only has a small zipper compartment at the bottom and then the top compartment, it's using magnet to close. It is more convenient to get the things from the top compartment, but the magnet is definitely not the most secure way to lock it. If you put things a little bit bigger than the compartment, then the magnet has no use. And I'm pretty sure it'll just fly it out of the pocket if you try to put your bag like sideways. With the version one zipper side pocket, I can almost throw the backpack around and I know that things will still stay inside pretty securely. The second thing I wish they can do better is to have a bigger laptop tablet compartment uh, at the back of the backpack. And it is so tight right now, even when I'm trying to pull out my 11 inch iPad Pro, it already feels kind of hard. 
I can't really imagine putting a laptop that is bigger inside this compartment. I hope that they can make the opening a little bit wider so it's a little bit easier. My other backpacks all have like bigger opening for laptop or tablet compartment. So I hope the everyday backpack in the future can do that too. The last thing I wish they can do differently is the way the side flaps open. It would be great if it opens up the other way so when you swing the backpack in front of you, you can see everything inside the back and get access to everything easily. A lot of time, I have no idea how to get access to the side pocket because I can't really see it, so it's really hard. So if it opens this way, it's gonna be much better. And uh, there's one quick tip about using the dual opening because you can open it back on both sides. Uh, you should lock one of the sides if you usually open the backpack just from one side. Uh, because if you forgot that you have this side open, let's say, and you flip the backpack around, I'm pretty sure everything will fall out from this side and you don't want that to happen to your camera gear. And uh, they have these tiny loops at the top and bottom of the backpack that allows you to lock the zippers. You just need to loop the zipper around it. There's one thing I didn't want to talk about this backpack, which is the customizable dividers because they're not that flexible compared to other camera bags. So don't try to compare them. They're just okay. If you want to see how I customize my everyday backpack, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to make another video about it. There are a lot more features of this backpack that I didn't mention in this video because I want to keep this review video short, just talking about the biggest pros and cons I've found. Again, if you use this backpack differently, leave a comment in the comment section below so I can learn about them too. If you ask me which one you should get, let's say version one or version two, I would say they have very little differences. If you don't mind the stiff shoulder straps on V1, definitely consider getting the version one because I think it is on sale right now. That's it, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more contents like this in the future. If there's anything I can improve on, leave them in the comment section below and I will really appreciate them. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, did you guys notice that I have a new background? Yes, this is my new space. If you like it, let me know. If you think that I can do something about it to make it look better, leave it in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Very slowly fade.